The president. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. We would like now to hand over to the councils for the civil parties to continue putting questions to the civil parties. You may now proceed. Council. Mr. Aim Un, I have a few more questions. And for the sake of good record, you also are now asked to talk about the speech by Mr. Kyu Apart from what you already indicated earlier on, concerning the speech uh, he made during the political session. Would you wish to add something else? Response, could you please ask your question again? What would you like me to add? I mean, when it comes to additional or something else, what do you mean? By that question, question. before we broke, uh, you were Avant talking pause, about uh, Mr. Kyusom Pong remarking in his speech about uh, people who oppose the government, uh, the opposed the party, women who used uh, needles carelessly, and workers who used the plows unwisely, and those were treated as the enemies or opponents of the party, we would like you to add if you wish on this topic, if you have something else to say. Response. I just wish to add only one word to this. He told us to look into people's ways of doing things. Il nous a dit d'observer la manière qu'avaient les gens de faire des choses. He said that uh, whatever the party wanted us to do, we had to. Il disait I would like que nous, to nous question someone de faire I think this is the opportunity I may ask this fasse. question to them. What, that, what does that mean? Je pense que c'est à eux qu'il faudrait poser la question. Qu'est-ce que cela veut dire? Question. Are you question. now putting question or you are responding to my question? It appears to me that you are now asking a question, question. Que other than responding question to my question. Could you please be more precise on this? Veuillez préciser vos propos. Response. I do not Je have pense. any additional response to that. Je n'ai pas d'autres réponses à rajouter. Question. Question. You also stated that uh, you attended the political study session for one week. Vous avez également dit avoir participé à une formation politique pendant une semaine. Apart from the one week uh, study session, Donc, à part cette formation did semaine, you have to work at a hospital in Phnom Penh? Étiez-vous contraint de travailler à un hôpital à Phnom Penh? Response. For the one week uh, study session. Réponse. Indeed, after this session, I had to go to the hospital. Durant cette séance de formation d'une semaine, après la formation, It was my je task me rendre à already to attend study session. I didn't ask for that. Je n'ai pas demandé à suivre cette formation. On m'a dit de le faire. Question. Question. Who was the head 
of the hospital you worked in and in what section did you serve at the hospital? Response. I worked to help in the political education sessions and I Je also had to study had to study hard un soutien aux séances because the party appointed me to work très dur parce and uh, asked or sent me to Phnom Penh. I had to learn hard to, ins to ensure that I improve my skills. Je donc, uh, Apart from that, uh, I did do nothing else pour, except uh, mes looking after the students, à part cela, je medical rien students. À faire à part des en Question. Question. Were you also asked to be in charge of looking after the patients. Vous a-t-on demandé de soigner des patients aussi? A response. Réponse. Every doctor was supposed to look after their Tous patients. Les médecins étaient censés We soigner leurs patients. We had to take turn serving in the hospital Nous and to le Take good care of the patients. Pour uh, bien soigner les patients à l'hôpital. Question. Could you describe Question. the condition of the patients at the hospital? Dans Who could have been the patients or the inpatients at the hospital? Response. The patients Réponse. at the 17th of April hospital were mainly workers, employees, and officials who worked in Phnom Penh. Des officiels qui travaillaient à Phnom Penh. Question. Question. How were these people treated? How affected, rather, how effective the treatment was? And had there ever been any patients die because of the treatment? Le traitement ces patients était-il efficace? Et y a-t-il des patients qui sont décédés Response. à cause de ce traitement? Réponse. I have never noted uh, this. Je there was, cela. It was possible that there could be cases where patients could have died because of the carelessness of the treating doctor. But I never saw this, so I would never want to elaborate further on this. Personnellement, donc je dirai pas plus. Question. Question. How were medicine prescribed to the patients? Where did Comment this medicine come from? Les médicaments pour les patients et provenaient les médicaments? <coughs> Response. Réponse. At each hospital, there was a place called pharmacy. The pharmacy section and person who was in charge of the section would be assigned to offer the medicines to people according to the prescriptions. In my unit, practically during the period when the East Zone did not change Politically, Pendant la période où we il n'y a pas eu de changement politique dans la zone est, 
We did not have experienced shortages of medicine among the cadres. And I believe that uh, this medicine were left over from the former regimes. We gathered them from various locations and had them stored in our hospital. So we just endroits. collected the remaining medicines left over in various pharmacies across Phnom Penh and had them stored in our hospital for treating our patients. Question. Question. Were there any medical operation conducted on people as part of experiment? Est-ce que l'on effectuait des interventions chirurgicales dans le cadre d'expériences médicales? At the Réponse. 17 April Hospital or Cambodia Soviet Friendship Hospital, à l'hôpital de la there were medical doctors who were Il y avait des from Sector 20. It was the largest hospital in the country back le plus then. Grand du pays à cette I did not witness any medical operation, but I did see this happening at the base Mais when People who were expected to be executed had to go under medical operation as part of the experiment. They were operated on alive. Question. You said that you saw people at the base uh, going, uh, on, uh, going under medical operation alive. Is that correct? Alors qu'ils étaient vivants, est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. The truth is that I was also involved in La this. It, they did not bring the corpse to be operated on. They brought the real human beings for this operation and I was standing next to the operating table je me tenais and à côté people du would be laid on a table and trainees would be asked to look at how the fingers would be cut Et les and removed. Observer la manière d'amputer les doigts. So they cut parts of the body, then they only leave one of the hands attached to the dripper, and the operation was on. But the, yeah, these people uh, were unconscious uh, already because um, some kind of medicine was injected to make sure the people were unconscious uh, when the operation was conducted. Uh, this happened uh, in pre wang at uh, Sector 20, and I saw this with my own eyes. Question. Question. Who ordered uh, such operations? And why these people had to be operated on? Pourquoi devait-on opérer ces gens? Response. Réponse. I was told that the majority of these people had been the spies. De ces gens these people espions, who remained from the old regime, those people who were classified as those who regime, would be executed according to the slogan of keeping you is no gain, losing you is no loss. À vous gagner, nous ne gagnons rien, et à vous perdre, nous ne perdons rien. And the, the whole body would be chopped Le corps or operated and cut into pieces and then put in a bag 
to be discarded. Et les morceaux étaient placés dans un sac pour être jetés. Question. Thank you. Question. You said uh, keeping you is no gain, losing you is no loss. Garder, Could you please be more precise on this? What do you mean perdre, by that? Nous ne perdons rien. Pourriez-vous préciser le sens de cette phrase? Qu'est-ce que vous entendez Response. par cela? Réponse. Keeping you is no gain. Losing you is no loss. Means that any person who fell in that category were perceived to be dead already and to be executed. So the party made the decision on these groups of people. Question. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. 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 Thank Touch upon the topic of your career at the Phnom, uh, at Je the hospital. During the course of your work there, did you ever see experts, medical experts from a foreign country, to give offer training sessions there? Qui venaient de l'étranger pour euh, dispenser des formations. Response. Réponse. I saw foreigners, Chinese vu des and Koreans, des Chinois who came to provide Coréens medical training at the hospital. Qui donner des formations médicales and à l'hôpital. Mr. Chun Chun was Monsieur very Chun good Chun at that. I saw him cela très bien. who gave trainings, Je vu and donner I still des formations. recognize him if Je le uh, he would be standing here today. He était devant moi. was of a medium build. Il était de taille moyenne. He uh, taught us about the scientific medical methods. Il and the Korean and Chinese also assist us uh, with the operation techniques. Les les techniques and uh, indeed, uh, people selected uh, people with different expertise to teach us with regard to Les different kind of specialty, for example, uh, those who specialize in exemple, treating uh, TB would then be assigned to teach uh, trainees in that rele relevant uh, section. Pour, uh, After des, uh, each uh, uh, topic of training, then we move on to another field, Après and several trainers matière, would come and autre, go. I could not remember them all. I still recall another teacher or trainer by the name of Ni, and Ni. Mr. Chun Chun, as I just Chun indicated, Chun who were my trainers. Ni was good at training people on TB. Ni était euh, expert en matière de tuberculose et il formait des gens là-dessus. Question. Question. Thank you. Merci. Can you also please uh, clarify whether in your hospital pourriez-vous nous dire or how many People, or staff member at the hospital, de are they alive today? Et on fait partie de l'effectif de l'hôpital, sont encore en vie aujourd'hui. Response. Réponse. I'm afraid uh, none survives. I never met them or any. There were a lot of people in the hospital cas, as staff retrouvé. member. Il y avait beaucoup de personnel à l'hôpital. I never even know where Mr. Chun Chun could have been, let alone Je the other members of the staff Chun at the Chun hospital. Ni les autres I just de know that he's, he was my trainer Tout ce que je sais, and he was sp specialized in heart operation. Et un Question. Were there any arrests Question. ever been made uh, of the 
medical staff members. Est-ce que des membres du personnel médical ont été arrêtés? Response. Réponse. I can talk based on what I saw during the course of my study. Members of the staff member were arrested. People who came to attend study sessions were also arrested. Des participants aux séances I did never observe the way people could have been arrested, but I je saw this. Vu and those who were at great danger were at the beginning people from the east zones, then the northwest, the north ensuite, and the northeast zones. Nord du nord et du nord people would be loaded onto the trucks. And I asked her where they could have camion. been taken to. I was told that these people were the enemies of the people of the party or the people who betrayed the party. And they were tortured uh, when they were being loaded onto the tracks. That was a very tragic moment. Camions, and I always cry when I saw this. And it, it, women pleure, were even badly treated ça, than the male prisoners or uh, kept, uh, people who were arrested. Council. Uncle, could you please compose Question. yourself? Indeed, we really need uh, your Je testimony. De vos votre Are you consent with me carrying on, or would you like some moment que je ou before we can proceed? Please let us de know. Avant de reprendre. N'hésitez pas à nous le dire. Response. Réponse. I do not wish to stop you from putting more questions, Je but please bear with me that there will be some moment that I will be very emotional. Je votre patience, car à certains moments, je vais ressentir de fortes émotions. Counsel. Question. Thank you. Uncle, Je I would remercie. like uh, to put a few more questions concerning the arrests. When you saw people being arrested, vous avez vu what was your feeling? Arrêté, Did you ever know the reasons behind Et such arrests? Response. I saw the arrests. I only saw vu les arrestations. some of the arrests, not all. Je en ai vu que pas But I factually witnessed this. Mais en ai été I saw a man who was, a, a woman who was in the committee for our femme. school laying say she was in charge of political study Lengsay. sessions on one occasion i saw her being loaded onto a truck fois, she was naked camion, i asked uh, who she was and i was told that she was til all spouse que c'était l'épouse de til all Question. Question. Were you aware of the reason behind the arrest of Mrs. Leng Tsai? You said uh, she was the wife of Tiu Ol. Do you know who Tiu Ol was? Savez-vous qui était Tiu Ol? Response. Tiu <laughs> Ol was 
an intellectual, a writer. Était un intellectuel. But était un at that time, I did not exactly know époque, for sure what he was. Je ne savais pas I learned at a later date. Je su plus tard. Council. Thank you, Angkor. I have no further questions at this time. I thank you very much indeed for your clarification and responses. I would like now to cede the floor to Mr. Pick Ang, who may wish to put a few more questions to you concerning your statement in your complaint. Concerning your declaration and your plaint. Council Pick Ang. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone in this courtroom. I would like uh, to proceed with a few more questions. And good afternoon, Mr. M. Un. I wish to seek some clarification. J'aimerais vous demander quelques précisions. When you reached Cambodian Soviet Hospital, lorsque vous êtes arrivé à l'hôpital Khmer Rouge soviétique, start learning medical sessions immediately. Avez-vous commencé vos études médicales de suite dès votre arrivée? Response. Réponse. I may have some reservation on this. I did not remember what I did before I started je the medical study sessions. Je ne me But I remember that I attended some sessions, je perhaps uh, political sessions, before we went to the medical training sessions on operation. So I just could not recollect the main event, whether I first started learning the medical si training session, uh, attending medical training sessions, or I attended the political sessions before that. But I did attend the two sessions. I just forgot to reestablish the consequences of the event. Question, were you referring to the political Question. sessions elsewhere or at the hospital? Response, these political Réponse. study sessions was the only politique. political session that I ever attended. Question, Question. was there any moment that there was the opening ceremony of the sessions being conducted at the Cambodia Soviet Hospital. Il y a eu une cérémonie d'inauguration de ces sessions de formation qui se serait tenue à l'hôpital Cambodia Soviet Hospital. Before we attended uh, the medical training sessions, avant d'assister aux formations médicales, there was an opening ceremony. Il y avait une cérémonie d'inauguration. I mean, the school was the training session had to be opened before Il fallait inaugurer we started la formation avant de commencer. Question. Who Question. chaired the opening ceremony? Qui a présidé cette Who cérémonie would be in inaugurale? the dignitary composition, those who chaired the ceremony? Qui étaient les dignitaires et ont Response. présidé cette cérémonie. Before we started Réponse. the medical training sessions, the opening Avant session was chaired by the head of the hospital, the 17th of April hospital. Mrs. Ling Sai, Mr. Chun Chun, and other medical doc doctors. Altogether, there were about 10 people who chaired the event. Qui cet Question. 
Were there any question. other people other than those attendees? Y avait-il d'autres personnes? No, no. There were Réponse. any other people. Non, il n'y avait personne. Then. Uh, thank, thank you. Question. Question. When you were studying at the uh, Russian hospital, alors que vous étudiez à l'hôpital Khmer Rouge, when did you when did you uh, go to study uh, the political uh, session at Borekela? vous after you vos cours de formation à Borekela? Were attached to the Russian hospital. Alors que vous étiez rattaché à l'hôpital soviétique. Response to my recollection. The political training session I attended was held for approximately one month and a half or two months or so. Hypertopic question. Following the Question. political training session, how many more months uh, did you continue Et to stay uh, at the Russian hospital before you returned uh, to your base? Avant de retourner à votre base? I... Response. Réponse. Following the completion of the medical training course in Phnom Penh, une fois que j'ai terminé mes études médicales à Phnom Penh, it was about actually it was about six or seven months after the political training session. Then I returned uh, to uh, the base, but uh, I cannot recollect it that well. It may be a little, pas très bien. it may be not totally correct. Il est possible que je me trompe. Uh, question. You question. said uh, the course was designed for one year period, but in total, uh, you uh, spent only approximately Mais nine months. Did you mois? complete the curriculum uh, design for the course, or uh, did you have to compress uh, the curriculum Ooh. so that you could, you could uh, finish it earlier? Response. No, Réponse. I don't think that we completed non. the curriculum, but I was told by the director of the hospital that we had to go back to the base in order to treat uh, injured combatant uh, in the war between Vietnam and Cambodia. So as a trained uh, physician, uh, we had to return to our respective base in order to treat them. So we could not actually complete the course fully. We, uh, we studied for only nine months. And originally, the course was designed for one full year. But uh, actually, we could only study for nine Mais months. We uh, concluded the training session was not because we completed the curriculum non. as it was Ce designed, but instead uh, because the circ circumstance at that time justified it. And at that time, uh, there was a desperate need for a physician à to treat uh, injured combatants. Question. You Question. mentioned that uh, you had to return to the base uh, to treat uh, injured combatants in the war uh, with uh, Vietnam. Can you tell the court when exactly you went back to the base? Vous souvenez -vous quand vous êtes rentré à la base? Response. It was my Réponse. estimation. I do not recall call exactly when, but it could have been in late 1977 or early 1978. Question. 
Thank you for your clarification, and I would like to expand uh, a little further. I know that my colleagues have already asked you about your training course in Borekela, and I would like to expand a little bit on this topic so that we can um, clarify certain points. Can you uh, clarify uh, to us when you were studying in political session uh, in Borekela, how many participants were there in Combien each uh, session, could you describe the environment, uh, the atmosphere uh, of the uh, uh, training course de ces held over there? Ka response. I attended the political training course in Borekela. It was actually conducted in a classroom setting. And they actually constructed a building, a, a school with a zinc roof. And as for the participants, there were approximately one, well over 1,000 or a little above. 2,000 participants, because as I said earlier, uh, the participants were those with the equivalent rank of the present civil servant of a district uh, uh, chief or so, so if they were uh, from across the country. And looking at the curriculum of uh, the training course, I did not really understand uh, uh, it uh, very well, because I was uh, trained uh, physicians, and I was also in charge of uh, student affairs as well. So uh, sometime I stayed uh, overnight uh, at the, uh, that political training school, uh, but sometime I stayed at uh, Russian hospital. So at that time, I uh, asked myself why I had to be trained over there. Uh, but generally, I noted that uh, people uh, had to stay in in a house collectively. For example, if there were uh, several flats uh, sharing the wall, they would knock down the wall in order to make room for. Uh, the participant attending the training course, and the curriculum was rather uh, intensive, and we had to make, uh, we had to uh, study hard. And as I uh, said earlier, the participants were uh, at the rank of at least a district uh, committee. Uh, chief uh, or the uh, committee members uh, from the sector district, district or district as well as the directors of the department subordinate to various ministry in Phnom Penh. So uh, there were around 2,000 or so participants in the training course. And as for eating, uh, we had to eat eux, in the communal hall. Uh, we had uh, collectively uh, together in the hall. And I myself uh, slept anywhere. I did not mind sleeping in the hammock moi, or I uh, slept on the floor. At that time, uh, uh, we had to uh, slept in the communal sol. hall together as well. Question. Question. Now, if we uh, look at the room, the training uh, room, and you say La that uh, there were some 2,000 participants or so. So can you tell the court uh, what the uh, classroom setting Vous like uh, over there? The Why uh, can it uh, accommodate Comment up to 2,000 or so participants? It is not my speculation, but I just uh, want to emphasize that I cannot be exact. Actually, the, the school I mentioned just now, it was not in uh, a room setting like this, like, but uh, they actually had one hall for uh, the uh, meeting purpose. It was like at the Russian hospital as well. We did not study in the uh, school complex. Instead, uh, they had one building, one building which uh, 
uh, was meant uh, for the meeting and training session, and we did not have uh, uh, a lot of space uh, for us. We had uh, small chairs and uh, uh, small table in front of us to write things down. Uh, it is my um, a recollection of it, but it was not my speculation, but I believe souvenir, that that room could accommodate to up to 2,000 participants. Uh, and uh, there was a hall in the uh, Russian hospital which uh, could accommodate up to that big numbers of participants as well. Uh, question. question. You mentioned that uh, one participant were uh, given one Ou table and one chair. How, how big was the chair and the table then? We had one table to ourselves. Uh, it, it is uh, of this size uh, where I'm sitting, but there was a small board in front of me, a small, very small one where, where we can place our notebook. Uh, in front of us, but of course the chair was not uh, movable as uh, we are having. It was like uh, the one uh, the uh, public uh, sit on in the public gallery, but it was not that big. It was like the chair uh, on my left. It, uh, it, it can be um, removed from one place to another, so it was uh, men for one student uh, age en fait, il y avait donc at the time. Un, un, un et, um, no, we... President, Council, probably you think uh, that you have abundant time to uh, ask the question if you dwell on an issue such as the size of the table or so, I think that it is too minor an issue to be uh, discussed here. You should ask any question that is relevant to the facts in case 002 slash 01. Thank you, Mr. President, for the reminding. But uh, the reason why I asked that question is to uh, ensure that the, uh, the uh, civil party before us really participated in the uh, training session and he really understood the situation over there. I just want to ask. Uh, to make sure that there was a veracity in, in what he said. So I would like to move on now. Uh, you have submitted your information form, victim information form submitted to the victim uh, support unit. I would like to uh, now show you a document D22 slash 3, D22 bar 363. ERN in Khmer 00573979. ERN in English 00713979. Oh, My apology 00751018. Six seven. Six seven. And E R N in French zero zero seven eight six one eight six. This document was uploaded on the Ce interface, and I would like to uh, show this document to the uh, civil party uh, with your permission, Mr. President. The President, yes, you may proceed. Council Pekong. In this particular page, Sur la page you mentioned that at first Mr. Q. Sampon was a cadre who focused on the uh, new people in Chiklang. Uh, 
commune because Kilsum Pond thought that those new people had the mentality of feudalism and Kilsum Pond thought that both the new people and old people had to be screened in order to find the enemies to flag out the Enemies. So we had to impose uh, the work uh, among uh, the, those people so that we can single out uh, those uh, enemy hidden from within. Uh, if we administer work for them, we would be able to identify them. And then uh, they added that for cadres, especially for uh, friends and colleagues uh, who were studying uh, here had to uh, uh, comply with this order. And if they resist or protest against this order, they would be considered enemy as well, which or who will be eventually smashed. So my question to you, The word new people. Ma question is the following. L'expression peuple nouveau. The segregation between the old and new people during that period did it exist, and if it did, uh, whether or not uh, that uh, idea were implemented uh, during the democratic Cambodia period? Response. What uh, do you mean uh, by the uh, three-year period? Period. Are uh, you referring to the period uh, after 1975, after the 17th of April 1975, or three years before the 17th of April 1975? Council, thank you for uh, seeking clarification uh, with me. I am referring to the period after the 17th of April 1975 until the 6th of January 1979, uh, the old people and new people were segregated and identified. And I would like to know whether or not there was a treatment or policy implemented in relation to the new people. Uh, my main question really was whether or not there was any um, distinctive uh, policy applied to new people. Response. Upon my return uh, from Phnom Penh to my base, as I said, uh, particularly people in Chiklang, Chiklang village, in Chiklang commune, uh, that, uh, pl that uh, village uh, was the medical base uh, for combatants. When I say that uh, the situation was uh, serious uh, in that village uh, was because that place uh, was where people were uh, experimented. So I actually witnessed uh, that situation in the hospital with which I was attached. I saw the um, the working environment and the uh, situation uh, over there. And they actually uh, mentioned very uh, clearly that uh, people, new people, the losing the new people were of no loss and keeping them was of no gain. And as for your question whether or not this policy was implemented, if I say that there was no implementation of that, uh, I think that people would say that I exaggerated it. But if I did not say, then they uh, would accuse me of hiding the fact. But actually what happened on the ground was that uh, it uh, did happen. And I also mentioned in my uh, document that uh, I actually asked my wife to flee the place uh, uh, because I did not want to witness that. 
No, Clon Viet. Question. Question. Coming back to the political training in uh, Borekeila, do you recall whether Kiu Sampon um, discussed uh, the affairs or si things that were delved by the other speakers before him? A parlé ou a évoqué ce que d'autres ont dit avant lui. Réponse. Réponse. Um, before they change uh, the speakers in Avant order to address the topic autre, uh, they were supposed to do, normally they um, uh, try to recall parler, what the previous speaker mentioned and then they uh, try to link up dit, from where they left off. Question. I would like to move on to another Question. topic concerning the uh, period in late 1977 and early 1978 when you returned to uh, Sector 20. You went there and worked as a medic or as a ordinary physician or general physician. Uh, physician. Upon my return from Pampen to my um, base, uh, Sector uh, 20, I went back to my own, uh, my own um, uh, office, and I was in charge uh, of uh, training of other uh, uh, medical uh, training, and I was also in charge of the uh, uh, political uh, training uh, session for people at the base as well. And I also uh, went to inspect at the uh, hospitals as well when times uh, permitted. I would uh, go to see if there was an outbreak of diseases or epidemic diseases in other uh, district hospitals. Question. Question. You also mentioned in your own uh, information form uh, in the preceding page of the portion I just mentioned to you, uh, you said that uh, you were forced uh, to uh, get married. Can you elaborate this a little bit further here? How? It happened. On this point, I would like to apologize in advance uh, to lawyers and the chamber if I am long wending on this uh, issue. Because if I wanted to describe about the a life experience, it will Je be very long. Me de ce que vécu, ce As sera très a long. youth, I believe that uh, we want our freedom to choose uh, our Les own wife. And if uh, you were forced to get married to someone Et whom si you do not love, that was very painful. And at that time, the situation terrible. was uh, that pressing because they uh, actually suppressed us uh, to get married. And they actually arranged that Dieu marriage for me. And I marier, had to get married to someone whom I did not moi, love at all. Uh, at that hospital, at the base, I was uh, given uh, the uh, responsibility uh, to oversee the situation in the hospital, and I was asked uh, to get married to someone whom I did not love, and I protested. But then uh, they uh, uh, punished me. They uh, transferred me to work in the work site instead of working in the uh, hospital. But 
uh, later on they had to return uh, me back uh, to the hospital because there were many patients uh, needed treatment. So I uh, was uh, transferred back. Before they uh, called me back, they asked me again whether or not uh, I agreed uh, to get married to my uh, arranged couple, arranged uh, wife. Actually, I uh, took serious consideration. It took me approximately two weeks or so. And then eventually I decided that I had to get married, otherwise my life would be in serious risk. So I had to force myself uh, to accept this arranged marriage. I had to accept it. But once again, accepting this proposed or arranged marriage, it was very difficult at the times. The, my my wife did not love me either, so whenever we stayed together at night, uh, we uh, cry uh, to each other. Uh, some council with uh, utmost uh, respect mr president i would like to uh, turn to another topic on the injury he suffered uh, during uh, that period and if i turn to this topic it may take some time i am in the hand of the uh, president now i don't know whether or not i should proceed from here pour savoir si je puis euh, aller de l'avant avec euh, ce thème. The President, can you please uh, repeat your answer because the microphone was not on and if you speak while the microphone is not on, your answer will not get through uh, the uh, sound system and it will not be rendered. Can you respond to the last question posed by Council? I, uh, I will answer to all the questions asked so long as I can answer those questions. I could not hold my tear because if I recall my past, I sometimes cannot hold my tears. And I was a man. I suffer from it, but I could also imagine the feeling of the lady. Uh, she was suffering from it as well. And when we, uh, at night, we discussed to each other, and if we refused, then uh, we would be uh, killed eventually. So we had to force ourselves in order to uh, satisfy uh, those who arranged for us. So we uh, had to concede uh, to this. It took me approximately uh, two weeks or so to decide to consummate the marriage with my wife. Uh, this was the uh, suffering I had to endure at that time. And to date, I cannot forget it. And I could not even find out who ordered uh, this uh, heinous uh, Crimes. I did not want to take any revenge, but I want to know uh, who uh, initiated this idea. And I, I know that this was a very heinous uh, act, and uh, the leaders, even those I, the leader might not have been aware of that, but they should uh, understand uh, who was uh, uh, actually doing that. I was one of the victims, and I believe that there were many more victims. But, uh, Council. Maître Picang. 
Could you please slow down? Veuillez, je vous prie, ralentir votre débit. After your marriage, were you Après, spied marié, on? For example, que vous avez été whether you're living with non. your new livet vérifier si vous habitiez avec votre spied nouvelle on. épouse. Espionnait-on les nouveaux couples? Response. Mr. Lawyer, I would like to also share with you the reasons Maître, I talked to my wife how we could deal with this. We Mon understood moi, that we would be under constant watch days and nights and we thought that uh, we would be killed Et if we did not express our si love to one another just to pretend we love one another to please Et the others. So we then got a daughter Et nous avons fini par avoir une fille. against our odds. Contre toute attente. Question. Did you continue to Question. remain married Uh, married, Et I mean, after the Khmer Rouge. Après l'époque du Cambodge démocratique, avez-vous maintenu votre mariage? Response. Réponse. After the Khmer Rouge regime collapsed, après l'effondrement du régime des Khmer Rouge, I still maintain our marriage. Je suis resté We marié. We lived to have another. Et nous avons son, eu un fils, or rather another child, ou plutôt, un autre because enfant. I have had been very sympathetic Car for her, and I really, pour elle. really had a lot of problem maintaining this marriage, uh, problem, but. but It could last uh, because of mariage, my sympathy only, not because of my love to her, and she didn't love me either. Elle, so until one day, we couldn't Et stand no jour, more, so we decided to part our ways and got divorced. And I, I now got married uh, with a new wife. Question. You said Question. you got married on the 17th of vous April 1977. Que vous vous êtes marié le 17 avril 1977. And on the another page of the same document, Et you indicated so. But you said that in 1977, you started in Mais Phnom Penh. Vous avez dit vous à Phnom Penh. How could you get married on the 17th of April 1977 in another location. Could you clarify this for us, please? Pouvez -vous, je vous prie, nous apporter quelques précisions. Response. I already apologized to the court if I could have made some mistakes. Mes excuses devant la I chambre si j'ai pu faire quelques erreurs. Chose the 17th of April as the date when I got married because people who loved me, who attended my marriage. Without their support or their presence uh, during my wedding, I would never choose to get married. So I really got married, but whether I got married on the 17th of April 1977 or 1978, I feel not sure, but indeed I could have been married in one of The years. Je me suis mariée dans It could une be the 17th of April. C'était peut-être le 17 avril. 1978 or 1977. Council, are you saying that 17th of April or 17th of 
July 1977. Le 17 avril ou le 17 juillet 1977? Lorsque nous avons parlé de la première phase du procès, the inhumane or other inhumane acts have already been excluded from the first phase. We are now focusing on the fourth transfer, phases one and two. So we would like you to frame your questions in line with the first segment of the trial, case 002-1, please. Les sujets concernés par cette partie du procès. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Maître Picon, merci, Monsieur le Président. I just wished uh, to clarify a few points Je because uh, there was some discrepancy in the uh, statement. Des, uh, the President, indeed, you are never prohibited from seeking clarification from civil party or witness, but make sure that your clarification falls within the scope of the alleged facts, not just something not relevant to the facts at issue. Council, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my next question to you is about your relatives. My question is about During the evacuation, were your family members affected by such evacuation or had you lost any member of the family? Response. My family member were not impacted by the evacuation, but I did lose some members of the family, and uh, it takes me some time to talk about this loss. So, on my side, I have lost more than 20 people, de mon côté, perdu plus de 20 personnes, including my cousins. That does cousins, not include uh, my relatives by marriage. Sans compter mes parents so, par alliance. on my side, I have lost about de mon côté, 20 or up to 30 people. J'ai perdu entre 20 et 30 membres de ma famille. That's People lost uh, before 1975, and more members of Ça, the family also lost uh, after 1975. Council, this is my last question to Maître you. Picong, Have you been affected question. by the loss of your loved ones? Que la, la perte Response, de vos proches, I may vous talk affecté? in length Réponse. concerning this. Am I allowed to do so, Je counsel, en Mr. President? I need more time on this. Monsieur le Président, il me faudrait du the temps. President, le Président, Mr. Civil Party, you will be given Monsieur the opportunity Civil, to talk about this indeed at the end of the parler. examination. So, à la fin de votre déposition, the injuries and your suffering could be expressed les dommages que vous avez subis at a later date, et vos indeed. Souffrances, Council, uh, vous, vous thank you, Mr. President, and your honors. I have no more questions to put to Picong, merci the Civil Party. Le président, mesdames et messieurs, les the President, juges, je plus de thank you, Mr. Civil Party. Merci, Monsieur M. Hon. Mr. M. Un, the testimony session today comes to an end. The chamber will adjourn. Nous the next session will be resumed on Monday, the 27th.
Your testimony will continue to be heard. Ou on the questions to be put by the prosecution. On the afternoon of the 27th of Monday, the chamber will not be conducting the hearing. Instead, uh, the trial management meeting will be convened to finish the unresolved Afin matters left over from the previous trial management meeting. And that uh, meeting will be in closed session. Ce sera une Mr. M. Un, you are invited to come back to Monsieur give M. testimony Un, again on Monday. And court officer is now instructed to ensure Monsieur that Mr. M. Un is properly assisted Veillez and accommodated uh, during uh, the period when the chamber has no Monsieur sessions M. Un, and have him return to the courtroom by Monday at 9 a.m. Security personnel are now instructed to bring all the three accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom by Monday next week for 4 9 a.m. The court is adjourned. Something